Our next story is as much about what did not happen as what did. It began when police officers in Columbus, Ohio, confronted two young children carrying what appeared to be a gun. Dean Reynolds picks up the story. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Hey, um, this, I'm on um, Brickell Avenue, and they're by Oreo. It's two little kids, and this guy banished a gun. I know it had to be a gun. The call to Columbus police was placed Saturday afternoon. Officer Pete Casuccio was on it, pulling up a few feet from 11-year-old Jaquan Soul and a cousin. Turn around, put your butts on the rail. The officer's gun Jim, was drawn. But he held fire, and the boy dropped what turned out to be a BB gun on the ground. You can't do that, dude. So In today's sorry. world, listen, yes. that thing looks yes. real, bro. I'm so sorry. You should be sorry, and you should be scared. Yes, one of the things that stands out is the urgency on your side. Uh, well, never one, I'm a dad. You're a father. Right, correct. I'm a father. He is also a third-generation police officer, working one of the toughest neighborhoods in Columbus. This thing could have turned... Oh, yeah. Very bad. Absolutely. And you would have no way of knowing it was a BB gun or... No, until it's too late. There have been other cases. One here in Columbus in 2016 involved 13-year-old Tyree King also holding a BB gun, but he was shot and killed by police. In Cleveland four years ago, 12-year-old Tamir Rice was holding a pellet gun, but was shot to death by a cop who mistook it for the real thing. Today, we spoke to Talissa Soul and her son, Jaquan, about the risk of carrying a toy gun in a high-crime neighborhood. And did you think that was risky? I didn't, think, I didn't think about it before I did. And what do you think now? I, I regret doing, doing it. Do you think I want to shoot an 11-year-old? Officer Casuccio said it was the closest he has ever come to shooting, but then not shooting his weapon. A close call that saved a life. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Columbus.